hello guys how are you okay in this video i'm going to show you how can we work with multi-threading multi-threading is very important for almost uh, all and it's very commonly used in real world applications because uh, if you keep working with the single thread some components uh, blocks and you won't see them in action so let's uh, work with multi-threading in this video I will uh, do my best to clear the concept of multi-threading and in upcoming video I will show you how can we implement it in real world applications okay so first we need to uh, import threading module here I create two functions func1 num1 num2 print sorry for i in range num1 num2 print i thread 1 ok let's create the second function def func2 num1 num2 for i in range num1 num2 and here we print i thread 2 ok if we don't uh, use multi threading and simply we uh, call these functions uh, like this func1 and then func2 then you can see uh, first the function 1 will be uh, running and then uh, okay uh, 0 10 where I forgot to pass uh, the arguments okay see here it run first uh, uh, this function func1 and then it ran the second function this one func2 if I want to uh, execute them all together we can work with multi threading ok so let's uh, create our threads th1 threading dot thread here I have to uh, pass function name and the arguments so here target it will be the targeted function name I want to uh, execute so func1 and here I have to pass its argument if your function uh, requires argument then you can pass here args and uh, here I will pass 0 10 and uh, for second thread th2 threading dot thread here I will do same first I need to call the function func2 and then I have to pass its argument 11 20 right now we have to start these thread please watch entire video guys so you can better understand everything I will uh, show you further ok th1 dot start and please uh, don't forget to like and share my video and if you did not subscribe yet please subscribe to my channel th2 dot start right now let me show you okay you can see both uh, functions ran together 0 thread 1 11 in uh, thread 2 12 in thread 2 and 1 in thread 1 like this okay so let me do something to clear the concept further let's add time delay import time 
and here I will add time dot sleep one right and uh, uh, let's ignore this function for now I'm not adding time delay in this function for now okay see here you can see uh, I did not add uh, time delay here so it already ran and uh, it's in thread 2 and it's completed as well and this is still running and now it's done okay if you want to uh, complete the first thread and then execute the second thread you can simply add th1.join and let's bind th2 as well join okay so once uh, the first thread is completed then second thread will be executed now see how it works okay see the thread 2 is completed and then thread 1 is running actually uh, first thread uh, uh, running completed and then this because uh, you are not noticing it because I did not add time delay here so let's add time delay here too I hope you get my point okay see here now you can better understand both Threads are running, and uh, actually, uh, when we add the time uh, delay in any function, it keeps running even the thread is completed because we call the function and it has the time delay, so it keeps running until the range is completed. We gave range here, okay? If you uh, remove this time delay, then first the thread one will be completed and then second thread will be executed now let's remove this and let's run both together okay see maybe uh, you don't get it completely uh, with this uh, small example in next video I will show you how can we work with GUI okay there you will understand better about multi threading because when we work with just one thread and we add components to it sometime components block and uh, they run after everything is loaded already okay guys so see you in next video I hope you like and share my video thank you guys goodbye